Every now and then you get a script for a radio or TV commercial that is way too long. A 15 second spot that actually has about 25 seconds worth of copy in it. Or a 30 that is more like 45 seconds. So what do you do? Well, there is one way to deal with that, if you're permitted, if your client or the studio you're working with allows you to, you can really motor mouth it without motor mouthing it. Let me show you one way to deal with it. Let's start by laying down the voice tracks we need for this, this kick butt commercial. We start by recording and control spacebar. And to the fake commercial I've written here, basic lines in a crazy car commercial. Come one, come all, to the biggest sale ever. There's never been a better time to buy. You'll kick yourself if you miss this one. Price is so low that we're not allowed to tell you. Nobody beats our deals. The biggest sale ever. Unless, of course, we do a bigger sale next week. All right, you noticed I paused in between each one of those because we really don't... It, I could pause for 5 or 10 or 15 or 30 seconds, whatever, in between each one. We just need to have those lines in, in, in separate blocks there so that we go back to the recording here. All right, let's crop the part that we need. Obviously, the loud parts here where I was yelling. Control-T, and that's everything we need. I'm going to flip this into mono by hitting the F11 key, bringing up Convert Sample Type. And here we have Mono, and let's just do that thing. There we go. Okay, now we need to mark those files to insert into a multi-track session. First, before we do that, I'm going to take this and just bring that down a little bit with our handy-dandy wheel. That's good. And this one here. Do the same thing. There we go. Everything looks pretty good now. All right, so we highlight each one, one at a time. Come one. And in different versions of Adobe Audition, I know there are different keys for marking your files. I'm using 3.0 at the moment, and I'm hitting F8 to mark that. I'm marking that range. All right, now you can see up here, marker number one. And if I click on marker number one up here, that's the range that I've marked. Okay? We do it over here. Come all. Come all. F8. The next one. F8. Mark it. Mark it. And see if you leave enough space in between each phrase. It's really easy to see where each one starts and, and ends. And there they are. All of them are marked. And we can go to multi-track. I'm going to hit F12. And we see our list right here of all the phrases that we marked. We drag the first one in. Drag the second one underneath that. And just overlap it slightly. I zoomed in. And come on, come on. That's a little too close. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'll take that. Come on, come on to the biggest sale. Okay, come on, come on to the biggest sale ever. There's never been a better time to. I starting to hear the motor mouth. Come on, better time to buy. You'll kick yourself if. And as you do this, you'll find that you can speed through this so fast. You miss this one. Price is so low that. Okay, we got to zoom out a little bit here. There we go. Number seven. Tell you nobody. Eight. Our deal is the biggest. Mm, about right there. Just sale ever. Nope. Just sale ever. Just sale ever. There we go. Sale ever. Unless, of course, we do a bigger sale next week. Now let's mix it down. Mm. 
There it is. Let's play it back and see what we've got. Come on. Come on. To the biggest sale ever. There's never been a better time to buy. You'll kick yourself if you miss this one. Price is so low that we're not allowed to tell you. Nobody beats our deals. The biggest sale ever. Unless, of course, we do a bigger sale next week. Now, I don't want to sound like an oldster telling you stories of way back when, but can you imagine how different it was to do something like that on tape? When we had these big multi-track machines, we would record on track one the odd phrases, like, you know, first, third, fifth, and seventh phrases, and then we'd rewind the tape and then hit the second track for record and listen to the first track in our headphones and speak with that track. It took a few takes. <laughs> now, I don't recommend this tip for all kinds of commercials. You wouldn't want to do it with something like a classy restaurant, would you? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot. Uh, thank you to all my new YouTube subscribers. I do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next lesson.